The Florida governor has declared a state of emergency as Hurricane Irma reaches a Category 5 storm. What are the chances, though, that the hurricane will hit Orlando? Residents of Orlando are preparing, just in case. However, although Orlando is within the state of emergency declaration zone, there isn't currently a hurricane watch in that city, and Irma, while somewhat unpredictable, is projected to strike a path through South Florida, such as Key West and Miami, instead. However, it is possible that Orlando could see tropical storm conditions on Saturday. The latest hazardous weather forecast for Orlando from the National Weather Service, as of 9.30 a.m. on September 5, says, the forecast for this weekend remains somewhat uncertain as major Hurricane Irma moves into the Florida Straits and makes its closest approach to central Florida, probably around Sunday. While it is still too early to be specific about any direct impacts that Irma will have on east-central Florida, there is an increasing likelihood of as least some impact from the system. That impact? Increasing rain chances and increasingly windy conditions are likely. This weekend. However, it's South Florida, not Central Florida, that's most in the way of the hurricane's path. According to the Orlando Sentinel, the hurricane is expected to strike with maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, flashing Key West and Miami by 2 p.m. the Saturday. In the latest public advisory from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration at 8 a.m. on Tuesday, the agency said Irma has become a Category 5 hurricane. With maximum sustained winds at 175 miles per hour, it is moving west at 14 miles per hour and is about 270 miles east of Antigua. 